to Vietnam now. Vietnam's fragrant noodle soup and fresh spring rolls have won hearts across the globe. However, mounting food safety scandals have led to anxiety among millennials about what they eat. Vietnam is witnessing frequent high-profile food security scandals. For instance, a 32-year-old spent two nights in a hospital after she ate a bancha, a Vietnamese dish of grilled pork and noodles. Doctors had only one explanation, that is food poisoning. In July, 14 people were taken to hospitals in severe conditions. Many experienced droopy eyelids and paralyzed respiratory muscles. Now, anxiety over hygiene standards is not the only problem. There is also growing unease about high use of pesticides on vegetables and herbs. <laughs> Cái, sản, cái cơ chế quản lý của nhà nước đối với sản phẩm rau an toàn và sản phẩm rau không an toàn nó quá lỏng lẻo. Cái thứ hai là một số đại bộ phận người dân bây giờ vẫn chưa quan tâm nhiều lắm đến cái sản phẩm rau an toàn. In a survey conducted by the British Council in Vietnam, 70% of 16 to 30 year olds said food safety was one of their biggest concerns, almost the same as job security. The majority among people in Vietnam are doing what they can to ensure that they eat hygienic and safely prepared food. Tôi thấy là cái rau mà nhà chồng thì thứ nhất là để thì nó không không bị hỏng nhanh như ở ngoài chợ thứ hai nữa là nó an toàn và nó bảo đảm thế mua ở ngoài chợ thì nhiều lúc thì trông nó rất non rất đẹp nhưng mà không biết cái nguồn gốc nó 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 sản xuất bằng những cái loại nào a number of non-profit organizations are working in collaboration with farmers in order to promote safe food policies. And according to the World Bank, heavy metals found in soil or water used for agriculture may be a significant contributor to some, fa some form of cancer. Pardon me. In southern provinces, 38 to 70 percent farmers use pesticides higher than the recommended level in 2014. Since then, the amount of pesticide use in the con country has remained relatively stable. Now, a growing proportion of Vietnam's urban consumers are willing to pay extra while some have completely turned their backs on traditional street food stalls.